it's Angela, and this episode of Transformations brings us right to the heart of Delco in Media, Pennsylvania. This is where homeowners Martha and Colin have decided to lay down roots and start a family. Media is a great town with lots of history, shops, restaurants, plus quaint neighborhoods and convenient access to Philadelphia. It's no wonder they want to stay put. Let's meet them and hear more of their story. I'm Colin. <laughs> okay, wait. This is, I've never done this before. <laughs> okay. My name's Colin. And I'm Martha. We live in Media, PA. We have two daughters and a dog and we're getting our home remodeled by Cocoon. I grew up in the area and I always loved media, so it was always an aspiration to be in this town and it's a great place to raise a family. We actually only looked at one house and when we walked in, we saw this window wall and Martha, that was on her bucket list for home ownership. Yeah, I wanted one floor living <laughs> right. and a window wall. It was the only house we looked at, been here, here for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love it. When we first moved in, we, we actually did a huge remodel. We were kind of burnt out from that and ready to just relax and enjoy our home for a while. But as soon as we had both of our daughters, we realized we needed a little more space. We started to think maybe maybe we actually need to like move. Yeah, the house you know? started to feel smaller, for sure. But then also raising our children here and watching them grow up, running around going in and outside so easily and there's just a general calm and peace in this house that we really love. So we thought, you know, instead of moving and uprooting that we would uh... expand on the house because we really love this house so much. We do not want to move. I don't I want to grow old here. I love this house. So we thought creating a retreat for us at the end of the day to uh, escape to. Yeah, we that's what we're after. Create, give ourselves a little more space and give the girls our old bedroom, and so they'll have a little more space too. We're also really excited for a bathroom. The bathtub uh, is made for children right now. I can't fit in it, so it's <laughs> literally impossible. Yeah. The other thing is the laundry situation. We have a small laundry closet, and the laundry is just all in our hallway that leads to our bedroom. Now that our laundry is double what it used to be. It is stressful to always be faced with it, you know, it, do, it makes me feel disorganized. The other thing is our entrance and exit to the backyard of our house. Because right now we just walk straight into our kitchen from the outside and I'm doing gardening. The kids are mm -hmm. running around, the mm -hmm. dog coming in and out all day. So we track in so much grass and dirt. We're looking for a, a mud room to just kind of bridge that gap, keep it cleaner in here. Yep. <laughs> I need a pantry too yeah. because we have all sorts of appliances that I didn't have when I first moved in 10 years ago. So there are a lot of things that we would like to expand on. It's clear that Martha and Colin love their home and the life they've started building in it. Now it's time for architectural designer Lisa to guide them in discovering a floor plan that will transform this house into their forever home. Welcome to stage one, space planning. Hey there, I'm Lisa. I'll be the lead designer for Martha and Colin's Master Suite Edition. One of the things that Martha and Colin really liked about their home was the beautiful solarium addition off the front with great big windows and a vaulted ceiling. Our bedroom right now is very small, very cave-like, little windows. I've never been quite happy about the lighting in here. Uh, it's pretty dark. We really wanted to create an open space with a lot of window, just like the solarium in the front of our house. If we kind of mimic this room a bit with the master bedroom, it would just like give a symmetry to the, the home yeah. between the front and the back of it. We really wanted to bring that feeling into their master suite edition. It's been really fun to develop three completely different concepts for Martha and Collins edition, something outside of the box. That's what we're excited about with you guys, just to kind of give us some out of the box thinking. You know, we yeah. can't see anymore because we've been here too long. To see that <laughs> <Yes>. vision. <laughs> I'm excited to see Martha and Colin's reaction to these plans. I really want to know what parts and pieces they gravitate towards. And hopefully we can find one that they love. We're really excited to see the architectural designs. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it incorporates uh, the existing home into the new master suite and what our life is going to be like <laughs> from now on. In Plan A, we try to be as efficient as possible and still meet all of their needs. So in Plan A, we created a hallway to get to the master suite at the back. When you get to the end of that hallway, you're greeted by this beautiful master bedroom that includes lots of windows, lots of light, and a gorgeous vaulted ceiling. 
I separated the main sleeping space from the dressing area with a partition wall. The partition wall provides great privacy, but also lets the light in from the bedroom. The Any closet itself is probably three, four times the size of your current closet. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I really like this idea of coming around. Yeah, that's, and I do like that. It's very fluid. That's like one of those things that we didn't consider. Mm -hmm. As you enter the master bathroom from the dressing area, there's space for a freestanding tub, and there's also a nook for the shower. Oh, so the, okay, so the shower's The shower here. can be tucked okay. back with a skylight yeah. over it. The exterior is, there's nothing really going on as far as like no, aesthetically. Not, That's my only yeah. thought yep. very with that. Plain it's box. Very plain. So for plan B, I got a little more creative. Wow, so this is cool. This is what Colin was wanting. This is, <laughs> this is beyond yeah. what I've thought of. As you enter the master suite, the bathroom's on your left. It has a large shower with a high window and access to the walk-in closet. At the end of the hall, you'll notice that the master bedroom is rotated towards the courtyard. This provides great views and great light. It also created privacy from the neighbors to make it more of a secluded retreat. It's cool. It's totally a different perspective than I yeah. thought. I think the only thing I don't like is the closet area. Um, I'll agree with you there. This is just seeming like a strange area to me. Plan C was the most complex. We actually shifted the hallway and created more usable space. Oh, whoa, this, this is crazy. The shifted hallway allowed us access to the existing bathroom, but also created space for a full laundry room instead of just a laundry closet. I'm yeah. totally down with that. Yeah, I really love that. that. <laughs> The bathroom has a true spa-like feel. We included a wet room, which is really just a large shower with a freestanding tub. Those are the spaces that I've been looking at, so I'm like, yes. yes. In Plan C's bedroom, you'll see that I mimic the windows that they love so much from the solarium. I love that yeah. it mirrors the solarium. When we saw the three different designs, we were able to just meld it together to make sense for us. Somehow can we meld this one with the first one? It seems like they're torn between A and C. We could try to, try to get the two Pushed together. Yeah, I think I think we're onto something. We started collaborating and drawing and sketching and scribbling just to see how we could fit the different pieces together. This is old school <laughs> right here. I think we're really yeah, circling it. I love it. That's that's what we've been thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's what it should be. Lisa really helped us. Uh, hone in on basically like what the home needed and uh, I think we really landed on a nice design. If we get that general layout, I'm Yeah, I'm I great trust with that. you guys. This is exciting. Yeah. Once they approve of the plan, we'll be able to sign into stage two. We've been staring out the window, visualizing all of mm -hmm. the things that we've worked on, realizing that we're really giving up a lot of the things we like about our kitchen with the window. The addition is going to actually be creating a shadow into our kitchen. So, so. we'll lose all the sun that came into the kitchen before. Well that, yeah, that's But there's nothing that's we can do to get No, I mean, it's just part of the <laughs> design. Nice. So we're exploring moving the addition to the other side of the house. I think that we need to call to discuss some of these new uh, ideas that we have and some of the changes we'd like to see. You call. <laughs> No, you call him. No, you call him. Yeah. <laughs> huh? We did not see that one coming. But hey, we're always up for a challenge. Find out in the next video what the new final floor plan looks like. Oh my gosh, Whoa. that's perfect. Then we'll discover what Martha and Colin's design style is and how we bring it all together in construction. Never had I ever dreamed I'd be doing this 10 years ago when I bought this house. But then we kept dreaming.